Well, hello, everybody. This is Dan Strutzel, Vice President of Publishing here at Nightingale Conant, and I am honored to be joined today by a new author for Nightingale Conant. His name is Stefan Wissenbach, and it's great because Stefan has been walking the halls of Nightingale here for the last couple of days. I call him the magic man because Stefan has turned the idea of success, happiness, achievement, a compelling future into a magical thing. And he actually uses that term. He's got a website called magicfuture.com that I heartily encourage all of you to visit that will take you through step-by-step how to create a compelling magic future for yourself. And so I want to stop talking right now and introduce you to Stefan Wissenbach. Stefan, thanks for being with us. Yeah, good morning, Dan. It's great to have you. One of my favorite concepts you talk about is the magic formula for success and happiness. Can you just discuss what specifically does that mean to have a magic formula for success and happiness? And do you believe that everyone has their own unique magic formula? Okay, that's a great question. There's two questions there, really. I'll right. So let's just talk a little bit about magic first, because you've referred to it several times. Ever since I was a young child, I've always been fascinated by magic. And mm-hmm. I love the fact that when you see a great magician perform a magic trick, you can't help but wonder how they did it. And yet we know, don't we, that when a great magician does a great magic trick, they do a certain number of things in a certain order, and they practice and practice. And then when they do that in front of an audience, magic happens, and it gives the impression that they've just performed the impossible. I've often thought from a very young age, why is it that so many people tend to live lives of sort of unfulfilled potential, and in some cases, quiet desperation, Mm -hmm. whereas a small number go on to do a certain number of things in the right order and practice them and create their own magic. And so I've engaged in a lifetime of learning. I've been very fortunate to have some great mentors and great teachers, and I've learned how to do the right things in the right order, practice them to create that magic. So when I refer to magic, I don't want people to think of it as being mystery or make-believe. I want people to think of magic as meaning mastery, mastery of a way of doing things that gives an exceptional outcome. So to the second point of your question, sure. can anyone have their own magic formula? Absolutely. The structure and the framework that I teach is deliberately there so that people can make it their own. We give some great ideas and I give some great tips and techniques to create your own magic formula, but at the end of the day, it's possible for you to shape it so that it really works for you as the listener. That's great. You know, it's interesting too, when I hear that concept of magic, you know, I know that you're from the UK, but even being here in the US, it's probably similar. Right now, the US has been going through, I'll call it kind of the economic doldrums, and I know the UK has been as well. There was kind of a magical energy, if you will, here in the U.S., probably from the mid-90s till the mid-2000s. And of late, there's just been kind of a static, I'll call it, energy. And I know a lot of people probably wouldn't describe their lives or maybe their careers these days as being magical. Why do you think that this concept of magic is so important right now? And how is it that people can bring that magic back to their lives at times that are maybe difficult like these? It is the same in the U.K., And I think one of the problems that we have in modern society, and you must stop me because I could talk for ages about this, (laughs) is that how much negative media we get fed, you know, it's just everywhere. And I think that with the economic difficulties that have arisen all around the world over the last couple of years, people are constantly hearing bad news. And I also think that with the behavior of banks and financial institutions, I think most people don't really know where to turn. There's a lot of trust gone. So what that means for a lot of people is it sort of paralyzed them into not taking action and not doing things. And this is probably going to sound a little bit overly simplistic, but the way that you change your life for the better is you start doing stuff, okay? (laughs) Nothing changes until something changes. But what I encourage people to do is to start by changing something small rather than trying to change something big. And once you start getting going with making some small positive changes, that then gives you momentum to do more. And that's something we very much teach in the magic formula is just make some little changes quickly first that can start building that motivation and that momentum forward. That's excellent. Now, why did you choose, and actually you just mentioned the new program, Your Magic Formula, which we actually just completed here at Nightingale Conant, and I heartily encourage people to check it out. Why did you choose to do this program right now? Why this moment? Fundamentally because, and once again, this is, I want to avoid trying to get on a soapbox here, but I'm really frustrated with what people don't get taught in school the lack of confidence that exists in the market, the lack of trust that exists. And I just see people so often, really, especially in the current time, 
They want to make their lives better. You know, I sit down with people and we talk about that. They want to make, but they don't really know where to turn. And so I've been blessed. I've been very fortunate to have some great teachers and learn some wonderful things over the last 20 or so years. And it was following a chance meeting with Vic about 12 months, 18 months ago. And he said, I was just talking to him over dinner and this is Vic Conan. And he said, this is really good. Would you mind doing an audio program? Right. I was very flattered. And so here we are. The message I've been building recently and launching a new business called magicfuture.com and having spent the last 20 years of my professional career helping already very wealthy and successful people become more successful, I decided that actually what I wanted to do as well now is to take what we teach that works so well and make it available to a much broader audience and hence the reason for forming Magic Future and that's put me in a position where I'm very focused now on changing the lives of many for the better and was entirely consistent with Vic saying, well, we think some of these messages and what you're teaching has so much value that we'd really like to do an audio program with you. So um, here I am. Well, it's, and it's a real honor from Vic because, you know, Vic Conant, who's our chairman, and of course, his name is on the company itself. You know, Vic has experienced so many different products come through Nightingale Conant and to spot your ideas and realize how unique they are and say, we got to do this. I mean, that's a real special honor. And I can honestly say, having experienced this program for myself, that I'm honored to offer it to our customers. I think it's really going to change the lives of many. What would you say, Stefan, if I was to ask you, because you've obviously heard many success authors out there, people in the area of personal development, success, motivation, how would you separate out your program from many of the other programs that are out there on the topic of success, personal development? What makes yours particularly unique? Firstly, I feel frankly honoured and privileged to be mentioned in the same conversation about some of the people that Nightingale Conant have recorded. And I bought my first Nightingale Conant program over 20 years ago. And there's some wonderful, wonderful authors that you've recorded with. I think what people need to understand is I'm a really simple chap. So this program is not complicated. And I think actually that's where it really, really wins. We live in a time when so many people seem to be trying so hard to make things complicated mm -hmm. and actually they don't need to be complicated so I've spent my time trying to simplify the complex in a world where everyone else is trying to do the opposite and so I think one of the big things that I would say and I really hope that listeners feel that my program delivers is just a really no-nonsense very straightforward very easy to apply simple formula that you can apply to make your life better but at the end of the day, you have to want to change because, as I said earlier, nothing happens until change happens. And so if somebody buys the program, wants to make their life better, don't expect it to be really complicated, really difficult. It's not. It's really straightforward and quite simple. And I think its simplicity is where it delivers the most value. Excellent. Now, Stefan, I'd like to give our customers as much value as possible in this interview. And if you had one key idea or nugget from the program that you could share with our listeners that they could take and apply their lives right now to make their lives better, what's one of those ideas that you could share with them? I said, I'm simple. And I think I've already yeah. said it. Nothing happens until change happens. And so I know that so many people buy personal development books and audios and invest money in them, but don't spend the time then listening to them or reading the books and taking action. So right. it's a statement of the obvious, but for me, it would be to capture the insights and make them your own and start taking action, but start taking action today. So we start the program with some really straightforward, easy things that you can do. That means you can start making some small changes right now. And that, in my experience, is the best way to build momentum and start making change happen in your life. It's my first audio program, and it's really important to me that this delivers value to the listener. I have my personal integrity and pride at stake here. And frankly, I never wanted it to be an audio program that just my mum would buy, okay? So the whole idea here is that I want the listener to get some tremendous value quickly. So throughout the audio program, what I ask the listener to do is to pause the program and go and take action. And we provide a framework with the workbook and clear instructions so that right the way through the whole program, the listener is asked to pause, take action, and so they'll immediately start to be doing things that will make their life better. Excellent, excellent. You know, Stefan, I know one idea that really intrigued me, and this is just one of the many ideas in the program, was this idea that I have and everyone has a magic number. And I was really wondering, what's my magic number? Can you just describe to our listeners what you mean by the magic number? Sure. And will they be able to find out in this program what that is? Absolutely. 
So I simplify the complex and I many years ago realised in my private consulting work that it was fundamentally important that each and every one of us understands our magic number. So your magic number is the amount of wealth that you need in order for work to be optional. And every single person has one. And I passionately believe that every single one of us wants to be in a position where one day work is optional. That doesn't mean we stop work. It just means we have the choice on whether we work or don't work. And ignorance is not a strategy here. And I found that <laughs> most people have no clue what their number is. Now, if you don't know what something is, it's very difficult to do anything to plan around it. So I invested a tremendous amount of energy, time and money in coming up with a basis so people can design their desired future and understand what their number is. So the amount of accumulated wealth they would need so work is optional. And the great thing about that is once you know it, life's really simple because you've only ever got one of two problems. You've either got too much money or not enough. And if there's a gap to close, if you're in the not enough category, at least you know what it is and you can start taking meaningful action to close that gap. Mm -hmm. So really great from a decision making framework and context. And if you're going to set goals in your life and you want to make your life better, then because we live in a society where it requires an element of money to function, regardless of how much or how little you want, you require money to function. It's pretty smart to understand what your number is. Sure. So what we've ended up doing is building an online experience where people can go online and within less than 10 minutes through magicfuture.com, they can understand what their magic number is. I think it's a great thing that for anyone that buys the audio program, Nightingale Conan have arranged for people to have 12 months free use of the site to discover their number, play with their number, as well as use all the other right. great tools that are there. Excellent. Well, I'll tell you, I can't wait for people to find out their magic number, determine a better magic future for themselves and their own unique magic formula. So this is wonderful. Can you just finish off, Stefan, by talking about a few maybe different clients that you had, stories of people who used your ideas to make their lives better? The first and the best example will be somebody that I know very well who had humble but very happy childhood, grew up with a single mother and his sister in an apartment. Very little money was nicknamed Lentil Boy at school because they used to eat a lot of lentils, cheap food. And then he went out to work at quite a young age and was very fortunate to get a mentor. And this mentor taught him a number of the success principles that I talk about in the program. And as a result of that working and him learning from that, what he then did was he went on to invest very heavily in his own personal development, listening to lots of audio programs, buying lots of books and continue to take all that information and distill it down and apply those lessons to his life. And as a consequence of that, you know, now lives a life that involves him traveling all over the world, having nice seats on airplanes, enjoying living in a lovely home with staff and has got a great family. And so all the principles in the audio program and all the lessons in the audio program that have been applied in this person's life have just transformed it well beyond whatever he dreamed he was going to achieve when he was a young boy. And the reason I can talk with confidence about this person, I mean, I know them really, really well, it's because it's me. So uh, <laughs> as people that know me will attest, one of my main values is authenticity. And so throughout this audio program, the only things that I'm sharing with people are things that I've personally done, that I personally do, and that I know that work. It's not sort of theory. It's not because I've read something somewhere else and then thought, oh, that sounds neat. So that's really important to me. And then sort of other examples, I mean, I'm constantly engaged in my private consulting work with people who, as a result of applying the principles that we teach, end up taking a different direction with their lives. So I recently spent some time with a very successful journalist who, as a result of our discussions and applying some of the principles in the audio program, is now embarked on fulfilling her dreams and building a career in a totally different space. A couple of weeks ago, a very successful investment banker called me to thank me and say that he was now going to do what he really loved and was just so much happier as a result. So I don't want people to think that the audio program is all about, I mean, we talk about magic number, it's not all about making money. No. It's about just making your life better so that yeah. when you're done, you feel that you had a life fulfilled. That's wonderful. Well, I encourage all of our listeners to be on the lookout for another video coming from Stefan very soon. And I can tell you, Stefan... One of his values is authenticity, and he's one of the most authentic people that I've had the chance to meet to walk through the doors here at Nightingale Conan. And you'll see that authenticity. Uh, Stefan wants to share a very personal message directly with you, our customers. And so I encourage you to look for that video coming into your inbox very soon. Stefan, it's been an honor to have you with us today, and let's go out and make a difference. Thank you very much, Dan. <laughs> Thank right. you. Thanks, Stefan.